three, two, one. Here we go. Welcome to Ann Hop Real Talk. Today's topic is a Black History moment. Happy Black History Month, everyone. It's a great time to be young, gifted, and black. For those who don't know, Black History Month actually started as Negro Week and it was founded by Carter G. Woodson. He's a graduate of Berea College here in Kentucky. In 1976, it became Black History Month as what we know it as now. Oftentimes, we always focus on the common figures like Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and like Malcolm X, but I wanted to highlight some history in Hopkinsville. Some of you may drive by past this building every day on 1st Street, Attucks High School. Attucks High School was an all-black high school up until 1968. To give you some perspective, my dad was born in 1960, so segregation wasn't that long ago. We still have some graduates of Attucks still living today, such as Sister Lisa Young's mother, Miss Linda. Down the street, off 7th Street, I believe, is Peace Park. Peace Park used to be a slavery auction block. If you get close, you see where there were windows and you could peep in and see the slaves. Now it's called Peace Park to make a good situation out of that one. Ted Poston was the first African American to work for the New York Post. He was an author, social activist, and he also did writings on Martin Luther King. Gloria Jean Watkins, you might not recognize her name because she goes by Bell Hooks. She was also a professor, an author, and a social activist as well. Down the street on Virginia Street, there's an old like brick rock building in between, um, across the street from Virginia Street, Baptist Church is a old black hospital ran by Philip Brooks. Um, Mr. Brooks also was the owner of many clubs throughout Hopkinsville. Hopkinsville's kind of a dead city now, but back in the day it was a hot spot for the Chitlin Circuit with a whole bunch of social clubs. If you don't know, the store is called ps and It's right by Aaron McNeil. It used to be an all-black police station between 1930 and 1960. And in recent history, Eugene Poole Jr. was the architect behind the setup of the inauguration for President Joe Biden. I said all that to say about Hopkinsville to just tell you that there's history around us everywhere, even in your family. So take the initiative to learn about your history, not just black history, but history in general. Um, I have the privilege of being able to talk to my grandparents and learn about my family's history. Just because you're not the first doesn't mean it's not history. So get to know your family, get to know your area. Y'all have a great month and stay black. Here we go. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you soon for our next and Hop Real Talk. <laughs>